In this video, we are going to solve fractional equations. You will find this on page 150 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Solving fractional equations. A fractional equation is one that contains terms which are fractions. In section A, we learned how to solve linear equations that contain fractions. The steps for solving any fractional equation are exactly the same. Look at the denominators of all the fractions and find the lowest common multiple. Multiply each term on both sides of the equation by the lowest common multiple and then cancel all the denominators. The equation will no longer contain fractions. In this section, the equations can be solved up by transforming them into quadratic equations. We can then choose one of the methods to solve a quadratic equation, either factorization or completing the square or quadratic, the quadratic formula. But let's look at an example. <clears throat> if I look at this example, I just want to clean this. <clears throat> So this is my fraction. So what will the LCM be? It will be x plus 3, x minus 2. Okay. So I'm going to show you this method, and then I'll show you another method in the next example. So what I do is I, I'm actually doing it like algebraic expressions. I first just make the denominators the same. So I look, say for example, there is already a x plus 3, but I still must multiply with x minus 2, then I do the same on top. There is just a 1, so I must multiply by the whole LCM. There is already a x minus 2, so I must just multiply with x plus 3, x plus 3. And there is already everything, <coughs> so I just multiply 1. And then as soon as my denominators are the same, and because it's an equation, Actually, what I'm doing, I multiply with the, the LCM, 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 LCM. And by doing that, all the denominators cancel out. And I'm just left with the numerators. So it's, it's almost like following algebraic expression method. But in the next one, I'll show you the other method. Okay, <clears throat> then I just simplify. I take everything over because it's a quadratic equation. And then I can just um, divide by negative 1, negative 1, negative 1 to make this positive. And then I can factorize. If it can factorize, factorize. But then this is, this is my answers of x. But you must remember, if you work with fractions, you must test the solutions. So in this case, I test. As soon as I'm sub... Um, let's just, as soon as I... Substitute 2, I will get there a 0, and I can, dividing by 0 is invalid. So that is why this is not a solution. And the only solution will be this solution. So very, very important. And I'm saying it in the next page. <clears throat> Let's just move it up, down a little bit. We always have to check the solutions to equations with fractions where the unknown is in the denominator for the division by zero, zero error. If the solution makes a denominator of the original equation zero, then the solution must be rejected because you may not divide by zero. It's undefined. The solution is invalid. Okay, and that is why I just check, and this is the reason why x minus, or that 2, is not the solution. I want you to stop the video, and I want you to do, um, which one will I let you do? Let's do number C. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. Okay, first I rewrite everything. Put this over one. Put brackets always as soon as you see two terms. Now, what will be the LCM? The LCM will be, there's a three 
and there is an x minus 2. Now I'm going to do it like the previous example. So where I just make the denominators the same, just like I did in the expression. So there I must multiply with 3 x minus 2. And I must multiply with 3 x minus 2. And there I must just multiply by x minus 2, x minus 2. And then I'm going to get 3x minus 2, 3x minus 2, and that is going to give me 3 times 3 is going to be 9x minus 2 over 3x minus 2 minus x minus 1, x minus 2 over 3 x minus 2. So it's just like an algebraic expression. I make the denominators the same. And then actually as soon as they are the same and it's the equation, never at the expression, but at the equation, you can cancel them out by actually multiplying with 3x minus 2. So it's a bit maybe more complicated, but because I used it in previous books, I want to show it again. I'll do the other method in the next example. So in this case, I'm going to get 3x minus 2 and I'm going to get 9x minus 18. Okay, and now I'll just put the bracket. I must first multiply here. So it's going to be x squared minus 2x minus x plus 2. Okay, and if I rewrite it, 3x minus 2 equals 9x minus 18 minus x squared plus 2x plus x minus 2. And then I take everything to one side. So 3x minus 2 minus, uh, I'm just taking, I'm not trying to simplify. I just try to focus on the signs. And now I can start looking for like terms. Okay, there's a x squared, there's a x, 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 x. Constant, constant, constant. So basically I'm going to get x squared, okay, so that's going to be, and then I'm going to say 3, so this is negative 6, and this is negative 8, negative 9x, and this is going to be 16 plus 2, that's going to be 18. And then I can check if it can factorize. It looks like group A, so let's just check to see says 6 times 3. I want to take another color. Um, let's take red. 6 times 3, 1 and 1. Because it's group A, 6 plus 3 will be 9. Signs are the same, both take the middle sign, negative, negative, x, x. So I will get x minus 6 x minus 3 equals 0 and then I will have x minus 6 equals 0 or x minus 3 equals 0. So x will be equal to 6 or x will be equal to 3. And I can test it and just to see if both will be solutions. If it's 6 it will not give me 0, if it's 3 it will not give me. So both will be solutions to this question. Okay, let's look at another one. Okay, if I must solve this one, now this one is quite complicated because I must factorize there, but we did it in algebraic expressions. So I factorize and then it's 1 minus x and 1 plus x. Luckily it's 1 plus x and that's the same as x plus 1. So what will my LCM be? It will be that 2, separate 2, 1 minus x, 1 plus x. So I multiply by my, uh, all the terms by my LCM. I'm following now a little bit the other method. Then I cancel out whatever I can, and then I will just get that top. And then I'm just going to simplify. Oh, it cannot factorize. If it cannot factorize, then use the formula. That's the best one then. And then again, I have two um, answers of x, but one is not a solution. Why? Because if I substitute that negative one uh, there, then it will be 1 minus 
one which will give me zero, so it's not a solution. So the only solution will be this one. Okay. Again, I want you to stop the video, and I'm just going to give you one. And it's quite a difficult one, okay? But I'm going to do it for you on this weekly video. So stop it, take it step by step. Uh, otherwise, watch the video, then try to do it on your own again. Okay, so let's just start. This is 2x plus 1 over 2x minus 3 minus 12x minus 12 over 2x squared minus x minus 3 and that is equal to 2, we can put it over 1, plus 1 over 3 minus 2x. Now check here, and we did it. Do you see that's positive 3? That's negative 3. That's negative x term positive. I can do, I can change this by taking out negative 1 as a common factor. So look, and there I can factorize, it's in group B. So let's first factorize this one. So it's going to be 3 and 1 and, and 1 and, no, 2 and 1. Because 3 minus 1, that will be 1. And then the biggest over cross product will be a negative positive x, x. So basically, I will end up with 2, and just put that brackets. I'm just going to leave spaces for that LCMs. Otherwise, we struggle. So space, can put a bracket. I put that, so it's going to be 2x minus 3, x plus 1. And that is going to be equal to 2 over 1. Okay, now remember what we do here. We are going to say, my, okay, it's the positive. Actually, the positive just changed to negative. But let me show you. Positive, I take out, let's just that one. I take out negative 1. If I take out negative 1, it's going to be negative 3, or uh, negative 3, I'm just going to write plus 2x. But then don't forget that that negative term, that will give you a negative, and you can swap this two around. Just move it a little bit to this side. Okay, so what will the LCM now be? The LCM, and let, where are we going to write it? So the LCM will be just that 2x minus 3 and x plus 1. Okay. So I will multiply, okay, now what I, I, I'm doing the other method now. So take the LCM and write it at, it, multiply every term by the LCM. Make the spaces a bit bigger in the next time. And here it is again. It's actually for this one, and here it's for this one. So make sure you have enough space. And now cancel. So this cancel with this. Everything cancel there. So it's just the top. There nothing cancel. And in this case, it's 2x minus, so this cancel, and I'm left with this. And now I'm going to write it. OK, put the bracket. OK, minus, and then it's that 12x minus 12. I'll cancel, and that's equal to 2, 2x minus 3, x plus 1, uh, plus, oh uh, no, no, remember it's not a positive, really a lot of concentration. That positive makes it negative, can you remember? So negative, x plus 1. Okay, and now 
I'm just going to multiply everything out. Okay, so that's minus 12. I'm just checking, checking. Looks good. So I'll start multiplying. So I will get 2x squared plus 2x plus x plus 1 minus, let's just go a little bit back, minus 12x plus 12 equals, first leave the 2, so it's 2x squared plus 2x minus 3x minus 3 minus x minus 1. Okay, we simplify again. So it's 2x squared. We can simplify already here. So 2 plus x minus 12. Um, so let's just see. 2, that's 3, minus, so it will be negative 9x. Um, I'm just going to, okay, that was 12 plus 1. That will be 13. And this will then be 4x squared plus 4x minus 6x minus 6 minus x minus 1. And that will give me, now I have to just bring everything over. So it's 2x squared minus 9x plus 13. I'm, I'm just bringing it first over because otherwise I have to concentrate and I make a sign mistake sometimes. So I prefer just first change all the signs and now now start adding the like terms. Like, like. So in this case, it's going to be negative 2x squared. Okay? Like, 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 like. So, so it's negative 9, negative 13, uh, negative, uh, no, negative 13 plus that 6, it's um, going to give me negative 7, um, negative 7 plus 1, so it's going to give me negative 6. Mm, I just, my color. Negative 6x, and then this is 13. Uh, plus that will be 19, plus 1 will be 20. Okay, and it seems to me again this one can factorize. If you cannot, I use the formula. But let's just divide by negative 2, negative 2, negative 2, negative 2. So what will I get? I will get x squared plus 3x minus 10 equals 0. Again, group B. So let's just see 5 and 2. Oh, we can. Because, ah, the colors. Because um, 5, 2, 1, 1. 5 minus 2 will be 3. And the biggest over cross product will get a plus, minus. So it will be x plus 5, x minus 2, and that will be equal to 0. So therefore, x plus 5 is 0 or x minus 2 is 0. So x is equal to negative 5 or x is equal to 2. And that will be, and now I have to just check. So if I check the answers, um, let's see 2, now 2 will work. And uh, if I substitute there, yes, 2 will work. Negative 5, you can check, yes, it will also work. So both will be solutions to this algebraic fraction equation. Practice, practice, practice.